Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite add-ons to use at the moment in terms of pet battling and that is Rematch. Rematch is actually one of two pet add-ons that I use. The other one is specifically for breed IDs, but I wanted to talk about Rematch in particular because I know that some of the people who are following my strategies on YouTube may not be using the add-on at all. So to make the most use out of my strats, in the description I generally have the rematch strings which is basically a little piece of code you can import into the add-on and it will automatically load the pets that I use for each tamer. Um, so let me open this up and this shows you what it looks like for those who haven't used it before. So basically if I click that off this is what the default UI will look like and you can see from the filtering system there isn't really a lot that's been included but when I turn it on you can see there are a lot more options to choose from. So if you're going up against a tamer that has um, say a water pet or something like that then you can go in here and select what pets you have that are strong or have abilities that are good against that type of pet. You can also do it from here which is what I generally do um, and in if you're talking about the family familiar pets you can just select say family and then uh, something strong against elemental or something and you can see this one here. So anyway, um, what I wanted to show you was if you are new to the add-on and you haven't, if you're not sure how to import any of my rematch strings that are included in my descriptions, all you have to do is go to this default tab here which is under teams, use the drop down menu, go to import, and I already have something copied to my clipboard, so this is the one that I have just uploaded for uh, Sir Galveston, uh, the elemental team. All you have to do is paste, that's the whole string there, and if you have tabs selected for say tamers or families or whatever, you can all always allocate it here. I haven't really done them for the family so I just use legion and then save. So if I look up Sir Galveston, these are all my Galveston teams and the one that I just imported was the elemental one. And you can see that's it at the bottom. So it's plopped in all the pets with their abilities. The only thing I will say is that there is a limitation to the add-on and that is with breeds. It doesn't actually copy over the breed that I have listed. Now for example, um, this pet here only has one breed. You can see it on the little pop-up tab to the right. This Sproutling here however has several breeds and if you see that I've listed a breed in the strategy that will tell you that it does come in multiple breeds. If it only comes in one breed I don't bother because it's redundant otherwise. But for um, this example here it does come in the BB breed. That's the only breed that I have. I only hold each pet in a single breed as opposed to I think a lot of other battlers who hold multiple breeds for various pets. So if you do import my string you'll have to double check to make sure that you are using the same breed assuming you do have multiples. Um, other than that if you don't actually have this pet for example you can right click and find similar and that will tell you which other pets have similar abilities in your stable. So you can use that as an alternative. The other thing is if you don't have the pet 
and you've imported my string, it will generally have a little grey box here which means that the little slot is disabled telling you that you are missing one of the pets in the team. Um, other than that, if you do have the pet, say this rat here, um, then it will always import the highest quality pet and the highest level pet you have for that if you have several of those frost fur rats. But as I said before, you will need to double check the breed just to make sure you are using the same one as I do. But on occasion, if you do happen to use one with a different breed that still works for the strategy, I do suggest you add that in the comment for the relevant video just to help other people out if they happen to have the same one. Um, also, if you don't have one of my pets, I think several people have mentioned that they don't have nibbles which is one of the collector's edition pets uh, you can do what i suggested before is right click on the slot find similar and then you know alternate something something else that you have that has the same abilities or similar abilities if you could add those pets in the comments as well i think that will also help out other people um, it actually makes me wonder because I've had a, a few downvotes on some of the videos and I'm wondering whether that's because people have had or used different breeds as to ones I've suggested in the video and they just haven't realised. Um, so either way, I think this is a particularly cool add-on to use. It has a lot of functionality. I really do recommend it if you are an avid pet battler. And uh, that's about it. As you can see, these are all the teams that I have saved. Um, these are more my general ones, all the ones for Draenor. If you see an arrow there, that means that these are power leveling teams. And whenever you load one, it will automatically load the leveling pet that you have in your queue. Unfortunately I don't have any at the moment but um, it is the beginning of the month so I have a few patrons who will be sending me a pet to power level for them. It's one of the perks under my Patreon account so if you want to take advantage of that um, and if you've ever thought about supporting me you can do that. So if you're new to the channel and you've just stumbled across this video, I would appreciate you giving me a subscribe, hitting that subscribe button. And if you found the video helpful, give it a like. And as I said, if you'd like to support me, you could do that on Patreon as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.